Be weird for you guys, huh? Being back in this house. Weird is one word for it. This is where Tegan and I's mom died. I started writing what was going to become House of Bad uh, like maybe two to three years ago. Um, and believe it or not, it actually started off, I was going to do it as a play in a black box theater and have three girls in white dresses wearing kabuki masks the whole time. So it was actually going to be a much more artistic, very kind of abstract kind of, kind of production. Um, and then it slowly evolved into you know, uh, like a more conventional dramatic idea. And then I started talking to people and you know, putting out the feelers for casting and stuff. Eventually um, got Scott Frizzell interested and he and I met and we started talking about it and we decided we were going to do it. And Jim Towns, our director and writer, came to me and said, Scott, I really need a big favor on this one. Uh, can I use your truck? And that's how it began. And it kind of grew from there, but uh, no, mostly he needed a truck. And my husband took me jogging in the park and said, I think we should produce a movie. And I said, how much is it going to cost us? And it seemed okay at the time. <laughs> when the producer, Scott Frizzell, sent the script to me, I read it and I had to call him to say, I, I don't, I'm not sure which role you wanted me to look at. But if it's this one, my answer is yes, because she scares the hell out of me. I came about working on House of Bad. Um, the director, Jim Towns, gave me a call. We have been friends, we've been colleagues, we've worked together on various projects. Um, and he gave me a call. I was just shy of nine months pregnant, and he said, I have a part for you. And I said, well, I'm almost nine months pregnant. And he said, exactly. And um, he told me who was involved, that he produces. So I said, sure, send me the script. And I read it, and um, I fell in love with the part of Danielle. It was pretty cool.